Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Sheets to create a graph, put a trend line, and put the standard deviation on. Now, if you have Excel, this is much easier, and I have other videos to show you how to do that. Google Sheets is a bit more of a, of a hack, so just try to follow with me. So here's my table, right? Now, this is kind of your standard table. You put in IB. Um, in an IBIA, I wouldn't necessarily have all the units here, but you get the idea. So I have the mean rate, so the average here, standard deviation here, and here's my independent variable. Okay, so you make a you can make a graph of that, but before we do that, we're going to set this up and make it a little bit easier. So what I've done down here is I've put the substrate concentrations here, I've put the mean rate here, all of them. And in the middle, I've put each of the individual, the mean rate for one, the mean rate for five, the mean rate for 10, mean rate for 20, mean rate for 50. Um, you might ask, why am I doing this? Um, yeah, this is how you do it, basically. Another way to say it. So do this, you're gonna highlight all of this and you're gonna make a graph. Now, the graph's gonna come out a little bit strange, what you wanna make is a scatter plot. So you're going to get this scatter plot. Now, what this means is I have all these different colors. Those are the different data series. So if you see series six actually corresponds to all of these. Okay. And then data series one just means this one. Um, and data series two. It's the next one here and so forth, okay? So it seems kind of weird. And basically you don't see those other colors because it's the exact same number. It's hiding behind this blue one, okay? So I'm gonna click on those and I'm gonna go down to data series six because remember that's the one that's all of these. You see here, I can add a trend line. If I only have data series five, um, I don't wanna add a trend line. I only add it to six because it has all five of the data points. So add a trend line. Linear is not quite the best. Probably be an exponential. No, it would be logarithmic. Okay, fine. We'll use with that. So we have a trend line. First bit done. Um, the next bit is we want to add the standard deviation here as error bars on these ones. So we're going to click on the data again, and this is where it gets a little bit monotonous, but it works. So we're going to go back down to series. I'm here. Okay. We'll click on data series one. And I'm going to go error bar. I'm going to change this to constant. Okay. That's important. And what I'm going to put is 9.19 9 in there. Okay. You see, if I put that in there, all of a sudden the error bars have appeared. So I'm going to do that just on that one. So then I've got to go to data series two, and that's um, 2.30. So I do that, or 2.03. I do that, great. And you see it appears. Um, that one has the numbers there. I must have clicked something wrong. Um, let's see, data labels. Is that one? Yeah, so I took that one off. And I go to data series three. And I'm going to do that also. Um, so that's going to be 3.930. Three point, three point, um, three Great. Um, I'm going to go to data series four. Almost done. Error bar constant. 4.37. Great. Um, head to five. Same thing, um, error bar, constant, 2.997, oops, 2.997, great. So now you see I have all these error bars, but notice they're in different colors. That's because of the series here. So you can change the colors by um, changing the color here. So you could set it to, to blue, and now that one's blue. You can set that to black. Whatever color you want to set, you can set that here. So I might set that to black. 
click on that one, I'm gonna set that to black. This one I'm gonna set to black. This one I'm gonna set to black. This one I'm gonna set to black. And then I'm gonna to go to data series six and I'm gonna set that one to black too. So now we have a nice standard kind of graph with the error bars. You still have this, um, this uh, legend here. There's, you don't need it, there's no need for that. So I'll just change that to none. And then you can add the, ch the charts and the titles and the axes over here to finish off your table. So that's how, that's how you ha basically hack Google Sheets into adding standard deviation. Thank you.